On Saturday, it was a, a fun day, if you were into vinyl. Record store day. We went down to 11th Street Records in the East Fremont Street District, and uh, the place was packed. It was her one year anniversary, and they had folks everywhere, including these two gals who kind of dress alike. Yeah. 11th Street Records, a great place for vinyl. One of the things I scored, I got for my lady. It was a special just for that day. It is a four album set of original cool 1080 vinyl. That's the good stuff. There it is, The Grateful Dead. Mm hmm. Yeah, a few bucks for it, but it's a keeper. There's a Johnny Cash. Lots of his great hits on that one, Record Store Day Special. And then, of course, I got this one that was a Kraftwerk. A really cool German techno group um, got that one and it's not record store day but um, we picked it up anyway because it is neat and it is nifty and check out this one some great jazz from way way back and look at the people that are on this huh Chet Baker it, 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 the list goes on and on and it was two bucks two bucks I got this one that's a bunch of sound effects and and such as that it, uh, nothing on the description on the back of the album just what you see on the front this is the kind of stuff they sold in supermarkets when we were little kids, and um, you could score a real good deal. Surprisingly, some of the quality of this stuff was pretty good. A lot of it was recorded in Europe. Swing Out Sister, uh, they had one hit. I like it. Yeah, Breakout. And I got that album for just a couple of bucks. And then this guy, Ross Tompkins. Ross was a piano player in the Tonight Show band for decades. And I saw him live once with Jack Sheldon at Dante's the Jazz Club in North Hollywood. And he was one hell of a piano player. And it's one hell of a deal for some vinyl at $2. And of course this one, I have a, a copy of it, but I looked inside and the quality of these albums were excellent. The outside is a little uh, messed up, but that doesn't matter because it's what's inside that counts with vinyl. This is KHJ, 30 Top Hits, a uh, company named Pacer Records, where they would take this and they would do it for radio stations all over the country, make these special packages. And then what the radio station would do, of course, is promote it on air, put it in local record stores, and everybody would make a lot of money recirculating some of the hits from that era. And there's some good ones on there. It was record store day right here in Las Vegas.